Welcome to All Signs Tarot. This is a daily love reading for the 18th of April 2022 for the sign of Aries. Okay, before I get into the actual reading, I'm going to tell you what messages I've been getting when I was focusing on Aries energy before I started the reading, before I started recording. So the message I'm getting is that somebody might have a drinking problem. I don't know if it's Aries or the person that they are dealing with. This Aries um, might be a man. I was seeing the Knight of Swords a lot. I was seeing the Eight of Wands. I was seeing the, the full reversed, the Two of Pentacles reversed. Somebody might have Taurus in their chart or they could be on the cusp of Aries and Taurus. Um, so I'm getting air, fire and earth. Somebody could have a lot of air, fire and earth in their chart. Somebody could be an alcoholic or they could have some kind of emotional imbalance. They could be going through some kind of emotional turmoil right now. And they might be drinking because of the emotional turmoil they're feeling. They could be drinking more than usual. If this is a casual drinking drinker, they might see an increase in the amount of alcohol they consume. So, I don't know. Uh, somebody is going through a lot right now. Um, today is the 18th of April. Uh, this is the day, the last day of Aries. Also, tomorrow, I think, is still in Aries season. And then on the 20th, we move into Taurus season. So, somebody could be uh, born around this time. Because I was talking about Taurus too. I saw the Two of Pentacles reversed and I thought about Taurus. So somebody could be on the cusp of Aries and Taurus. This person might be very emotional today because it's around their birthday or something like that. And uh, there's something about their birthday that's actually triggering them possibly. Or this could be somebody external to you. You might be enjoying your birthday and somebody is um, very focused on you. Very upset that they might not be able to be a part of your life. Or you are upset that somebody special is not a part of your life this um, this birthday. This could be a significant birthday. Maybe you're turning a certain age. You're, you could be like changing your prefix, so to speak, you know, like turning from 30 to 40 or 40 to 50 or something like that. You might feel um, like you're aging or you might feel like you lost somebody. You could have actually lost somebody physically. You could have somebody could have passed away in the past year, and you're no longer gonna be with this person on this birthday, and you're very emotional. Yeah, so you might be drinking too much on your birthday. What's going on for Aries, please? Holy Spirit, show me the Aries. Okay, four of cups. That's depression. Somebody's feeling depressed. And again with the cups, eight of cups. Somebody's be feeling depressed because somebody walked away from them. Somebody they love, queen of cups, walked away from them. Or they walked away from this queen of cups. So uh, eight of cups is Scorpio energy. It could talk about death, an actual death. Somebody could have actually passed away. Somebody they loved very dearly. Could be a lover, could be a mother even. A family member that they loved a lot. Queen of Cups can be a mother, but it could also be like somebody that you love very much. This could be a water sign. We've got Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All the water signs are here. Also, this um, I was talking about somebody crying a lot or overindulging in drinks. So this could be you drinking a lot, again, because you're very sad about somebody who's either passed away or walked away from you. Somebody could have rejected you, or you could have rejected somebody and you were sorry after this person walked away from you and realized that you love them. I'm hearing a particular song right now in my mind. It's a Romanian song. It's something about um, the fact that somebody... Um, uh, it's kind of like, let me see if I can translate it in my mind. <laughs> it's like... It's just when she walked away and um, no longer cared about me that I realized that I'm in love with only her. Something like that. So somebody could have done this to you. They could have walked away from you, um, rejected you, feeling like they had better options or they just wanted to enjoy their life. They wanted to date around and they put you on the shelf somewhere and ignored you. And um, as they were kind of living their life, having fun and all that stuff... The, the person they put on the shelf actually walked away. They didn't wait for them. Or they could have waited for a while. And in that time, in that period when they were waiting, they actually healed and started loving themselves and put themselves first and realized that there's no point to wait for this person. And they actually walked away. So this person might not have expected the other person to walk away. Okay, I'm getting lots of messages here. Okay, so... 
Is this reading for a man or a woman? Is this Aries a man or a woman? Is this Aries a man or a woman? Holy Spirit, is this Aries a man or a woman? Okay, Nine of Wands is man. Man, definitely for a man. 69 or 96 could be significant. So this man could be born in 1969 or in 1996 or something about these years could be significant. The 9th of June or the 6th of uh, September could be significant. So we've got Gemini and Virgo energy. So this man might have Gemini and Virgo in their chart too. There's There might be something regarding communication here. There's maybe communication was blocked or communication wasn't effective in this situation. Because Mercury and uh, yeah, uh, Virgo and Gemini are governed by Mercury. So yeah, Nine of Wands talks about being guarded. So and Six of Wands talks about being in your ego. So this man could have been in their ego and they could have blocked this woman. They could have blocked her. Communication could have been blocked or something like that. Okay. And this man could have a lot of fire in their chart. Not only are they Aries, but they might also have a Leo and Sagittarius in their chart. Because Six of Wands is Leo, Nine of Wands is Sagittarius. Okay. So yeah, this is definitely for a man. And this all this feminine energy here is like... Uh, the man is realizing that this possible water sign or this is like the, the queen of their heart. The person that they walked away from, the par person that they rejected is actually the, the love of their life. Okay, so I was on a roll and then I had to stop the video and now I kind of lost my train of thought. Yeah, the queen of somebody's heart, the queen of uh, Aries heart here could be a water sign. Like I said, we've got all the water signs here and then all the fire signs because the man is an Aries who might have uh, Leo and Sagittarius in their chart. So yeah, very fiery energy versus very watery energy. Yin and Yang here. But you know, the, the, the water can like turn off the fire. <laughs> Maybe that's how this man felt, that this woman would stifle him in some way. That this man could be somebody who really cares about his public image. And they could have felt like this woman was bad for their public image in some way. Either this woman could have been too emotional. Maybe he felt like she's too emotional. She might embarrass him in public with displays of emotion. Very powerful displays of an emotion. But the thing about fire signs. Fire signs are also very emotional. Just like water signs. But they express it in a different way. In a more masculine way, right? So the fire signs might express their emotions through anger. Rather than crying or making a fuss or something like that, you know. So the water sign might cry, the fire sign might get mad. Could be. So the way you express your feelings is different. And maybe, yeah, I don't know, whatever. Uh, 48, 69 could be significant here. Seven of Pentacles. This is Capricorn energy with the Seven of Pentacles. This is waiting. Something growing. Also, it could be that, yeah, this masculine made this feminine wait for a long time. But as they were making this feminine wait, they could have been watching this feminine. And then they realized that this feminine is actually walking away. They're not coming back. Uh, this fire sign man uh, could have been just sitting there thinking, oh, she's going to be back. You know, I can live my life and stuff and she's going to be back later. Again, keeping this woman on, on the shelf somehow. And like I said... This man kind of like uh, Four of Wands, Aries energy again. So, and Queen of Swords. There could be some kind of soulmate or twin flame connection here with the Four of Wands. Maybe these people were meant to be married or somebody actually got married in the meantime. Queen of Swords. Maybe Aries got married and now they're getting divorced. Maybe Aries left this woman behind and thought that they're gonna... Maybe they didn't even want this woman back at first. They just wanted to, to get away from this woman. And Aries could have started a new relationship. But now they're getting divorced because they realize that they don't... They're not happy in that relationship. Oh God, yeah, Eight of Pentacles. This talks about working. Working on yourself, working on your craft. What's this work all about? Uh, it could be that this Queen of Cups, the Queen of Hearts here, could have been working a lot, could have put, been putting a lot of effort. Yes, it's true. Uh, no, it's not true. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. 
this somebody's not taking the ace of pentacles or not giving the ace of pentacles okay so it could be the queen of uh, hearts here who's been putting in a lot of effort towards this situation but it was the only one she was the only one who was putting in an effort and maybe this queen of cups wanted to give something to this aries but now they're no longer going to give it with the ace of pentacles reversed like somebody could have been working on creating something like even making like a a ring for somebody or making some kind of handmade gift for them and it's like they've been working for so long but now they're not going to give it anymore this could also be aries trying to make some kind of gift for this woman but this woman's not going to take the gift wow today's the 18th this is 18 in reverse Somebody could actually be born on the 18th. But it's like they feel like uh, the world is upside down for them. Knight of Pentacles. They feel like they're stuck. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, that's even more stuck than the Knight of Pentacles. So it's like, you see, Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Diamonds. The guy has the diamond, the, the pentacle in his hand. But both of these are in reverse. He can no longer give this diamond. Or this woman is no longer giving any energy to this man, right? After working for so long on this situation, they're no longer giving energy to it. Or this man could have been working on creating something for this woman, giving her some kind of gift, but uh, he's no longer going to give it because this woman's ha actually walked away from them completely. We've got Queen of Pentacles here too, so... Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, somebody could have a child possibly, or somebody just grew up, grew out of this. Seven of Pentacles is also about growth, Two of Wands. Somebody could have turned their back on this situation and uh, looked for the, started looking for their Two of Cups for somebody else, right? The, the Eight of Cups usually walks away from what no longer serves them, from something karmic. Eight is all about karma. Eight, eight. Uh, in order to find their two of cups, to find somebody that they can have a healthy and balanced relationship with. King of pentacles, somebody who's going to be stable for them. Somebody who uh, is ready to be there for them, right? Could be an earth sign. Maybe this woman has uh, left this fire sign to go towards an earth sign, possibly. But not necessarily an earth sign, could just be somebody who's willing to offer stability, to have a stable relationship, to have uh, love and uh, commitment here. So has this woman walked away completely? Five of Wands. There's competition here. There could be competition on both of their sides. Both of them could be in other relationships now. So maybe Aries is with an air sign and uh, this water sign could be with another water sign. Look, Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. Yes, there's a third party, the King of Cups. So this woman could even be married now. And maybe this Aries never expected her to get married to be with somebody else. Or maybe they did, but they didn't care at that time, right? But now they care for some reason after she's finally walked away for good. Nine of Pentacles, she's independent from this Aries. Ten of Wands, she's dropped the burdens. She's freed herself and uh, found the uh, emotional fulfillment somewhere else. Has this Aries man lost this uh, water sign for good? Has the Aries man lost this water sign? Oh my god, tower moment. This is Scorpio energy. Maybe the person that they're with now is a Scorpio. Or is somebody who's been through a big transformation, through some kind of spiritual awakening. Could be somebody who's very healed, very uh, emotionally intelligent, this Scorpio here. Too much crap on the floor, I'm not taking all this stuff. Wow, a lot. 49 could be significant, or 94 could be significant for somebody. Hmm. We had 48, now we have 49. Okay, interruption again. Knight of Wands. Okay, so it's like somebody wants to come. Knight of Wands, King of Cups. Somebody could have Scorpio and Sagittarius in their chart, possibly. What's with the Knight of Wands? 
This could also be Aries trying to get in here in the middle. Queen of Wands. Yeah, Aries. Knight of Wands is the Aries here. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, the Aries wants to fight the other guy uh, for supremacy here. <laughs> so, uh, Aries. Is Aries going to win this fight? Three of Wands reversed. Something's not manifesting. His, his ships aren't coming in, right? This is Sagittarius energy. Because I was saying that this Aries might also have Leo and Sagittarius in their chart. So this was, I was clarifying that this is Aries here, the Knight of Wands. Three of Wands reversed. That's another Sagittarius card. It's in reverse. That means that whatever Aries is trying to manifest here, it's not going to work. His manifestation is not coming. Two of Pentacles here. Yes, it's true. Knight of Swords is a yes for me in the upright. Ten of Cups. Yeah, because this Queen of Cups is already in a Ten of Cups with a King of Cups. Or they will be. This is somebody they're either married to or they're going to marry this person. This other water sign possibly. Or somebody who actually loves them where the love is mutual. Yeah, so I'm afraid that this Aries is too late here. Four of Pentacles. This... This woman is holding back from this Aries, Six of Swords. She's moved away physically, like with a whole family here. They could even have a child, or they're gonna have a child together. With the Six of Swords, it's like a whole family moving away physically. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this person could have relocated. This person could have get, gotten married already. They could have had a child. They could have relocated. So all this stuff could have happened in the time that Aries was kind of like you know, doing whatever. <laughs> or this is going to happen. This is about to happen. This e either already happened or is about to happen. And Aries cannot stop it. Five of Swords. But he's still going to try. This guy's still going to try to win at all costs. This person might try to cause conflict or... Uh, yes, Aries is going to try to cause conflict here. 51 could be significant. Also, the other way around, it's 15. Somebody could be born on the 15th. Also, um, 15 is the devil, three of cups. Yeah, this person might try to tempt this woman to cheat with them. This Aries might try to tempt the woman to um, to leave their partner for them. Seven of wands. But they're going to be met with a blockage. Eight of swords. Uh, Aries is prevented. It's like they have a blockage. Like it could be a spiritual blockage or... Um, it could be that th this woman just doesn't want to deal with the series anymore. They're blocked from going towards this woman to try to get her to cheat. Free of pentacles. The fool. But this Aries is working on something. This Aries could even be working with other people to try to get to this woman. Or he might want to pop up to the, their house. Free of pentacles could talk about somebody's house or place of work. Ten of swords. But it's over. The Fool. It's over. There's nothing happening here anymore. Nine of Swords. Anxiety. Four of Swords reversed. This Aries is very restless. I'm seeing 49 again. Maybe somebody's 49. This Aries could be 49 or something like that. Queen of Pentacles. Right, so like I said, this woman could be focusing on their family, focusing on uh, their... Uh, business whatever it is and turning their back on this Aries but this Aries is very restless here six of cups he wants to offer something he might try to pull at this woman's heartstrings remind her of the past their past together or something yes it's true king of swords this person this Aries could have a lot of air in their chart too they could be very plotting and planning about what to do how to uh maybe mind fuck this woman into coming back to them I don't know yes it's true the fool twice so it's like this Aries is trying to get this woman to take a leap of faith towards them to leave their current person to cut them out of their life and to try to have a new beginning with this Aries maybe the woman has Aries in their chart too or they could be on the cusp of Pisces and Aries anyway it's over 